Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, as I showed you, <clears throat> it's um, sunrise, and I'm having some some coffee in my urban assault vehicle, watching the sun come up. And this is the first time I've been able to do that, uh, which means the seasons have changed, and that makes me happy. <clears throat> it puts my give a shit meter well into the green. <laughs> I like I like starting a day like that, if you know what I mean. But I want to spend a minute talking about a couple of things. One of them is the state of the world. So this Ukraine situation has ratcheted up the threat level, the global threat level, uh, quite a bit, actually. And I say that because uh, Putin, when he was with the KGB, hated the fact that the Soviet Union broke up. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's ever since he's had power, his goal, his goal has always been to reconstitute the eastern part of the Soviet Union. It's all those little Balkan countries that broke off and became their own thing. He's hated that ever since. That's why he went after Crimea, because Crimea provides some, some naval uh, support. That's why he's going after Ukraine to finish the job there because Crimea belonged to Ukraine at the time. Now, <clears throat> there are other countries there that are not part of NATO, but want to be. Think about Finland. Finland borders Russia. Finland is not part of NATO. They've been arguing and pissing on each other about that forever. Guess what? <laughs> they would be the next target. They would be the next target. Uh, for for Russia, uh, some of those other smaller countries who are not yet part of NATO would be the next one. So he's going to drive through. He's going to do just what Hitler did. He's going to drive through Ukraine and pick off all these other countries. You don't mass half your army, which is what he did, just to you know spank somebody who's your neighbor. He has bigger plans. What's that going to mean? Well, I hate to say it, but nukes are going to fly, tactical or otherwise, uh, and it's going to be devastating. Europe, I, I wouldn't if I I wouldn't want to be living in anywhere in Europe right now. Nowhere, because the nukes are going to fly, right? There's all kinds of bad stuff. Uh, and what happens if that happens? Well, you know, we we got. Soldiers that we have this, that go and have been training with NATO forever. Uh, it's going to be the bodies everywhere. Everywhere. No one's going to be saved that way. <clears throat> so what happens then? Well, then China's going to get froggy in the South Pacific. And they're going to they're gonna want to bump titties with us. <clears throat> and... <laughs> What we're going to say, what we're going to say to the Chinese is, uh, come on out to the deep water, please. Come come on out and play with us out here because we got something for you. Oh, those things that you used to call bases that were little islands, uh, they, they're gone. The nukes will fly. We will destroy all of those little islands, all of them. And uh, we will then be at war with China. Now, what does that mean for us? Not a whole lot. Nobody's going to put boots on the ground in the USA. Nobody. One, we got 8,000 miles of ocean between us, east and west. Uh, <laughs> and we can see them coming. <laughs> we can see them coming. So no, no. That whole, you know, Wolverine stuff, nah, that ain't going to happen. Uh, and think about it. Just think about it, right? Uh, we have 150 million adults, adults in this country. And we have over 350 million guns and a gazillion billion rounds of all types of ammo. We have more small arms in civilian hands in this country than all of the armies in the world put together. Think about that. Think about that. We have more 
armed people in this country than all of the armies in the world put together. So, yeah, bring it right that way. But let's come back to the, the, the bigger picture. Um, yeah, we'll end up in a naval war with China. It'll probably take five or six years and we'll destroy their economic capability. And it'll also mess with us. You know, we're going to have to, <clears throat> we're going to have to stop depending on things and end up depending on ourselves. That's that whole prepper mindset that I talked about a while back. Uh, everybody is terrified. Well, everything that, everything that we need is from China. That is just not true. That is just not true. Everything we might want to play with is from China. And we might have to just learn how to remake clothes and remake stuff. And yeah, it might cost a bit more, but we can do it. We did it before. We did it before. So I'm not concerned about that. Uh, so that's my morning coffee thinking. Um, I'm going to get back to enjoying the sunrise here. But if you guys have any thoughts this morning, at anything, and I've been, you know, I really enjoy some of the things you guys say, and especially some of the people that, I just found your channel, where you been? Well, I've been here for 10 years almost, you know. And uh, I enjoy, I enjoy listening to what you guys say and commenting back. So, as always, thanks for watching and carry on.